So in this video, we're going to cover um, what's in my deck system. So underneath here, underneath the carpet layer, you can see I have a, a decked system. And I'm going to cover the drawers and, and what's in the drawers. I really like the deck system. Um, I don't normally keep my truck in this configuration. A lot of the times my truck is just a truck. And so all of this stuff, I built this stuff so I can remove this all and store this. So this box, that security wall, um, behind that security wall is fridge and a battery box. So all of that stuff that you see on top of the deck system is all removable. And then I'm left with just the deck system in the back and the camper top. So the deck system is, it's kind of this hard plastic, it's made of this hard plastic material. You can kind of see there, and there's two drawers. And so they have a lot of features, and I'll try to cover what I like the most. Um, and we can just kind of go through what I've got in my drawers. So as far as the deck system goes, I'm going to go through this drawer over here first. The two drawers are identical in my system. Um, there is a bottle opener here. So if you like that kind of thing, there's the bottle opener. Um, but here's the drawer. It has the model I have has locks. So normally, so I may not lock this all the time, um, but I have my tailgate locked. So if my tailgate's locked, then you have to defeat the tailgate in order to get in the door. But it does have this added layer, so I can lock this in addition to my tailgate lock. But let's open up this drawer and see what's all on this first side. I'm just going to tuck this carpet, which is in there, kind of down a little bit so you can see. So in the way, way back, so there's a, a part back here. So this, this part right here is out right now. It's empty. Um, that's my camp kitchen stuff. That's where that normally goes. So plates, a pot, pan, um, utensils, stuff like that for camp kitchen. Just kind of redoing that in the house right now. So that's what this void is. There's a camp kitchen there. Behind that camp kitchen are two things. Pull them both out here. So one is this box here and the second one, which is kind of related, is is this and then I just keep my decked built thing back there too so that's the bottom that's the back side of it all the way deep um, you can kind of see where it goes back there solid build on the deck system but these two things are tire repair kit so for heavy duty tires um, I have this repair kit that I keep in there so in case I have to do something myself I can self-rescue so that's there I push that all the way to the back and then this is, let's see if I got this one-handed maybe. So inside this black box then is a pump. So this is a 12 volt um, air pump and it's by GS or GSPC. Ooh, I can't say it upside down. So it's GP, GSP SCN. Um, it's a 12 volt DC pump. Not an expensive model, probably, and for sure not the best model, in, but it functions. I have not had any problems with this. I've used this multiple times, plugged it in. You can dial in the pressure that you want. Um, you turn it on, and then it seeks to that pressure. I usually do it a couple of times just to make sure it gets what it needs, um, but that's what this is. And then in addition, this also has the tire repair kit, which you can kind of see back here. One of those came out, we'll just pop it back up in there. Anyway, so you can see the tire repair kit, but I have the other tire repair kit for heavy duty purposes too. Anyways, it's an air pump, 12 volt DC. I can power this from my, my truck and this totally functions. So we get this back in there. Okay, and again, this deck system, you know, it's configured, you know, I generally have it configured for whatever I'm doing. So right now we're getting ready for a trip. So this is gonna be the camp kitchen area, like I said. Up in this area, this is kind of like the tool chest slash um, stuff here. So we'll just kind of go through some of the bigger stuff you can see. So I keep the awning in there. So that's the camp awning. Um, paper towels, spare paper towels. Big hammer, so I need to hammer something. Um, little hammer. In case it gets lonely, I guess. 
I'm a med kit. This is more in a stop the bleed kit. Um, so I'm not going to go through there. But anyways, there's tourniquets and um, chest seals and things like that inside there. So I also have a, an additional med kit inside the truck that has more kind of of the boo-boo type stuff, aspirin and band-aids band -aids and things like that. I keep a bunch of these clamps around just because these are nice to have for holding things down in a pinch. Um, as you see most of some of my videos, I kind of just build from the back of my truck too. So that's what those, those clamps are kind of in there. Camp shovel. So if I had to dig a hole, that's there. Some heavier duty or stakes. This is a tarp, a drop cloth. So if I need that for some reason, 10 by 20 foot drop cloth in there. I got a various extension cords. Again, remember I have a power that's here. So if I need an extension cord to run that to something that's a little bit farther away, I have various extension cords. This is a 12 volt um, plug extension cord too. So you have that. Some miscellaneous garbage bags. These are kind of nice little tarp uh, holders. So you can open this up, put the tarp in there, and then you can use a tie down and, and tie it down. So those are what those are. Three, I thought I had four of those, but this is an extra thing for the solar panel. I probably won't bring this. I'll probably put this in, in the garage. It doesn't necessarily have to be in here, but this is, uh, there's two of them in here, I believe. Yeah, here, you can see them better on this thing. There's two of them in here, and it's a, a two-to-one splitter, or combiner, I guess. So you put two solar panels on that side, and then the other on this side, positive and negative. So if you need two solar panels hooked up. These are the sandbags. So in case I park someplace where I can't put stakes in the ground, um, maybe it's on rocks, this I can fill with rocks, and I can have some weights to tie down the awning. A, a little bungee strap with some carabiners on the end. These little things, I use these for my awning. They're not, you know, when I bought them, this is how many came in the, the kit I bought. Um, and again, they're not heavy duty. They're not meant for climbing or anything, but I have a whole bunch of those in there. This is a, like a laundry type bungee cord. So I can strand from, from one point to another point, And then it has a bunch of clips on there so you can hang clothes. Starting fluid mosquito spray. This is the toilet kit. So this converts one of those buckets to a toilet if you need it. Um, has bags, there's bags in here so you can do your business. And then underneath here there's just some additional seals. So in case for some reason one of the seals, part of the tent, goes bad, I've got spare seals. So that's this side here. I'm just going to Put all this back in here and then up in the front here you can see um, a bunch of hand tools so these hand tools these actually correspond to like all of the allen wrenches and any other kind of wrenches that i might need to do any repairs that i have to do in the field so if for some reason that eye bolt comes out i have the tools here to do any repairs so it's not a complete kit it's kind of nice. This is one of the the deck system things. You can lift this out if you need to, to move this. Um, but I got Allen wrenches, files, Zacto knives, some additional earplugs. So if you forget some and you're going to the Rangers things, I got some spare parts down there. So again, these are the the eye bolts that you know. If I need to add another eye bolt, I got a couple additional eye bolts in there some tie down straps I got some probably some junky USB-C things here oh those are for the lights so I can charge those lights zip ties looks like I got some zip ties in there um, I don't know what else we'll just go through Allen wrenches like I said gone through most of this already pencil Zacto knife here again some of the spare parts so if I need to do something with add a repair or add something else to the um, 80-20. These are some T-nuts that I can add in there. I got a multimeter. So 
my multimeter so in case something electrical needs to be troubleshooted i got that a bunch of screwdrivers in fact this is the only place i keep my screwdrivers they're all right in there all the time i got some electrical um, things if i need to do electrical it looks like i got two exacto knives in there and probably put the other one someplace else some heavy duty zip ties so if i need to tie something down again this is one of those splitters this is a spare part essentially for the uh, battery box small little level more screwdrivers some general purpose wrench more screwdrivers um, more zip ties in fact i need one i'm gonna take one leave it out so i don't forget so you tie something down in the truck file another file i think i had allen wrenches oh yeah here's my other file it's like where'd that go my second file right there uh this is kind of a nice little tie down that you can um you don't have to tie knots you can just slip it in there anyways i won't explain that it's you're starting to get to the part where you can see parts so that's a stripper for wires so if i have to do electrical i can do that and then down at the very bottom all of these parts are kind of in here that you can see um this is one of the wrenches for the top in fact i'm going to put that with all the other wrenches which we'll leave that out for now but spare parts lock nuts bolts washers um 10 by 24 so this is the actual button socket cap these are the bolts that i always use for what i need here's where all my markers have gone and went to Spare parts on the other side, again, eye bolts. Um, this is 80-20 T-nuts for the small stuff. And more bolts and my other tape measure. So sometimes things get in the bottom and they get lost, but here's my other tape measure finally. Okay, so anyways, that's what goes in there. I'm going to put that all back. All right, so that's everything back, packed up. That's it for this drawer. Let's slide that in. And again... That's one side down. So let's look at the other side. The other side is the same size drawer. Just has different things in it, obviously. So roll this out. I'll tuck this back so you can kind of get a good look in there and peek in. So there's the other drawer. So we're gonna go front to back on this one because I can get things out and put it back a little bit easier. So this is a piece of wood that I use. So when I don't have the big griddle, there's a camp stove under here. And I'll show you how I do this in a second. So anyways, I kept this wrench out because that wrench belongs in here. So this is my tool kit, Craftsman tool kit. I've had it forever. Just pop this open and the only thing I don't like about this tool kit is it's got this annoying lid. So Craftsman, if you can fix this, they probably fix this because I bought this probably 20 years ago. Anyways, this, this little lid pops off so if you don't know then you'll uh, lose all your tools there but anyways it's pretty complete set metric and standard wrenches in the back so i keep this in the truck in case i need it for anything but when you close it it's got to keep pressure on that door so it stays in place so that's that i have a bigger socket set here Stole from my dad, so if my dad's watching, that's where that is. A little bigger set. You can hear the cranes out there. All right, fire extinguisher. Keep one here. I have contemplated many times about mounting it somewhere, um, but again, I just haven't found a good spot for it, and I kind of feel like. This is really the safest place for it. It's not the quickest access and the best spot for access, but it's kind of not gonna get smacked around here. So two things that every guy should have in this toolkit. 
um, something for if it sticks and it's not supposed to, then you got WD-40. So that's always there. And if it's not sticking and it's supposed to, well, then you got duct tape. So duct tape and WD-40. Here's the camp stove, the other camp stove, and a bunch of shop rags. So just put those over the side. This camp stove, though, I'll show you this. This is an old camp stove. I think I got that as a wedding present. But normally what I do for the camp stove is I put this piece of wood here. Losing all my rags. And then I put the camp stove right here. So normally I have it like this. So that way I have the piece of wood there. I can do some camping or cooking right here on the, on the edge. Um, the gas, the plug-in's here for the gas and everything's good. I got a lighter here, that's the converter. But that's how I usually have this. So this is always with the truck. So that way, if there's some impromptu camping, I don't know why that's always glorified, impromptu camping. Anyway, that's where that goes. So I'll just put everything back into this bin here because we don't. Okay, so we'll start to get into the little further back bins here. So again, what I'm usually carrying depends on what I'm doing. We're prepping up for possibly some camping slash cooking out west here. So, anyway, some spare um, some spare paper towels in this one. This is an older. This is almost empty bottle of gas. So I have here, there's one full one, two full ones, three full ones of gas. Um, pull some of this stuff in the back because we'll, we'll see this too. But this is one of those sinks that you can expand out. You can use it as a carrier so you can carry things. So like this, I don't know if you can see. But you can use it as a carrier or you can use it as a sink. So it has a little a drain thing here where it can hold water. Um, you can let the water out so you can do dishes in there or not, um, or you can just carry things. So I've got two of those. So I do carry, I carry two of those right here. They fold flat, so it's kind of nice. Um, but you can see those there. And then there's some miscellaneous things in this middle bin here. Um, there's a bike tire pump. I'm not sure if I ever need that, but it found its way out of the camper. If I need to start a fire, here's some fire sticks. These are always falling up. They need a little bag of the own. Uh, another way to start a fire. So remember I have one in, in there. There's another one. And then I, here's a third point, matches. So I got matches. And then I have no idea why that's there, but that's there too. So anyways, I'm going to pull this some of this stuff out so we can just see what's in back behind here. So back behind on this barrier here, we can see more gas. So I have three more gas containers. So I'll pull those out. Another roll of paper towel. And then in the back back, I'm not going to pull this stuff out, but let's see what we can see back there. So, um, actually I'll pull this out, keep a flat pan. So if I'm cooking with a two burner stove, I can put this on the top and it'll be like a griddle. I also on the way back, keep a longer extension cord if I need it for some reason. Um, and this could be, maybe I'm trying to charge my, my camp battery, which is up there and I can charge that, but I need to run it to an outlet or something. There's that. And then in the way, way back, I have some additional locks. I have some other tie downs in the back there. And I have these kind of rescue ropes. So if I have to tie something off or pull something out, I can maybe self-rescue. I don't have a winch at this point. So 
if I get myself into that deep, it's going to be hard. But this is more, if I need to maybe help somebody else, maybe I have a way to, to pull them. It's not one of the stretchy banjo ones or whatever those are called, but in a pinch, it'll get the work done. All right, so I'm going to load this stuff back up. Okay, so that's it for the second deck drawer. And again, the loadout, or what's in these drawers, does vary depending on what I'm doing. But that's it. That's what's in there right now. Uh, since we're doing a tour here, I will show you how I organize the back seat also. So the back seat is, I have one of those, you can see the brand name here, Duha, underneath the top, underneath the, each seat. Oh, by the way, every seat, I have one of these glass breakers. So this is a glass breaker on this side, so you can put it up against the glass um, and then actuate it and it'll break the glass. And then that's a seatbelt cutter. So every single one of the seats, whether my either kids over there, my wife, myself, um, you can pull this out in the emergency, cut the seatbelt, put it up against the, the actual glass itself and then do the break, glass break. And I just have these zip tied onto uh, everybody's seatbelt. So everyone gets used to what they're at and it's easy to grab and it's very consistent. So under here in this Duha bag, um, I have, or in this Duha, I've got a bunch of other stuff too. So let's take a look and see what's here. I mean, it's not quite the size of a deck drawer, um, but there's still quite a bit of stuff that I can put in here. And then some stuff I put in here, I want up in front just so I can have access to it a little quicker. Uh, so this is just poncho liner or a little quilt thing. Um, I always kind of keep that in case for some reason we're someplace and someone's cold, they can wrap them around themselves. In fact, I usually have two of them. There's probably another one here. I got a, a shirt. So a lot of times I'm wearing a t-shirt. Um, then all of a sudden on the spur of the moment, my wife wants to go out to dinner. Um, she's always looking better than I am. So I can throw on a, a kind of a dress shirt. So I always have that with me. Winter coat for a little colder weather. It's not a heavy duty winter coat, but for work normally what I'm doing, that gets me by. Here's another one of those little blankets. So it's a short little blanket. So here's some, some tie down straps, Just leave those in there. I have more of those in the deck system as you saw. I have a rain jacket. So if I need to get out and work on the truck in the middle of the rain, I have like a little rain jacket system there because it's cold sometimes up here winter apparently additional food falls down there so survival situation you got some additional fries um, in here this is another kind of cook kitchen this has got a rubber seal so it's got sealed gas it's gas wise sealed so if and I'll show you what's all in here turn it sideways so if this thing leaks for some reason you know, one of these bottles leaks, it's not going to get out through the seal. So anyways, I've got a couple of meals in here that I can prep. And again, combined with the water in the back, this makes it a, a kind of a good on the go type thing. So it looks like I got maybe three meals in there. Um, I got two jet boils, one bigger one, one smaller one. I think this one has fuel in it too. Not sure if this one does. Um, but anyways, I got fuel. So anyway, jet boils and jet boilable type of dry food. It's in there all sealed up. Ah, see there's my fourth one. I knew I had four of those tarp things. I'll put that in the back with its friends um, in a bit. So, I don't know, this is uh, some additional tools I had at some point. I don't think I probably need this in here. What is this? Let's just see. Oh, this is actually more important than what it looks like. This is a red flag. So if I need to dangle something out of the back of the truck and it dangles past, I can tie a red, like a flag on it. So alert other drivers. That's right. So this is a kind of a small screwdriver set for small stuff. And I forgot what I have this for in the truck, but I needed it for something. Anyway, I think it was some firearm stuff. I had to work on a gun. Some additional gloves. So now I'm, I'm packing things not just for myself, but for my family members too. So 
if my son and I have to change a tire and he wants to wear work product gloves. I, I love these work gloves by Milwaukee. These are cut level three work gloves. So same thing here, cut level, this is cut level one. I don't know if that, that feels more thicker. No, cut level three is thicker. So anyways, at different cut levels, but these Milwaukee gloves, love those things. Always have extras. So some belts. So in this truck, there are two um, belts. One is more important than the other. One drives kind of the alternator and the oil pump and all that stuff. That belt, if it breaks, you're kind of toast. That's what this belt is. It's a replacement for that one. The other belt um, drives kind of the air conditioning unit. And if that one goes, yeah, you get hot, but you can get through. Anyway, more Milwaukee gloves. These are super thick, like winter type ones. Uh, bag for something, I forgot what was in there. More of the, the wetsuit, so these are some pants. Over here, spare headlights. So if I have a headlight that goes out, so this is the headlights I put in right now. So I swapped out the OEM headlights for these LED headlights. Um, much brighter, much easier for me to see at night. And sorry if you're on the other side coming at me. I did do my best to aim these so that they're not, you know, up in, in oncoming driver's eyes. But anyway, these are much brighter. But inside of here, then I put my old OEM bulbs. So if an LED bulb dies, I can swap back in an OEM bulb and I'm still good to go. A blanket if you need it and a roll of paper towel down the pattern. So anyway, I'm going to pile all this stuff back in and I'll come back at you. Oh, before I leave, you know, the Ford F-150 does have its own inverter. So this runs off the um, truck. So when the truck is running itself, then, you know, you can get things like, here's an uh, outlet right here. So if the kids have something back here and they want to plug it in, they can run it while the car is running. And there's also one up in the front you can see on the dash. So that's that. So I'll pile this stuff back in and I'll join you when I'm all switched and organized again. So underneath the seats, the Ford F also has a little cubby back here you can store things. I got a whole bunch of shop rags, so if I need something to wipe down, I can do that. If uh, there's ever a toilet paper scare again, man, I am ready next time. I got three hidden in my truck here. No, that's just, you know, in case we're out someplace, you never know. So sometimes nature calls and you got to handle the call. Um, balaclava, again, cold weather stuff. So back here, there's some terry towels and stuff like that they can use. A little bit of water that is always back here. Some excess water. I have no idea why this made it into my thing. And what is that? It's a Halloween mask. I think I was snow blowing one year with this on and then it just made it back here. So nothing nefarious going on, but that is in there. This is more of kind of my boo-boo kit. So in here, I've double packed this with aspirin, you know, all kinds of bellyache stuff, band-aids, everything's in there that you need. Again, the water, D-wipes. So if you go shooting and you get lead on your hands, this is an easy way to remove that. So it's kind of nice to, if you want to shoot for a while and then go eat, well, clean off your hands. Take care of yourself. You don't need that extra lead in your system. If I need to be visible, I can be visible. Again, snow blowing. So normally, if it's middle of the winter up here and I got to get out to do something, it's nice to have those. Here's some more um, eye protection. Here is the pair that I currently use on a lot of projects. Just keep those real close. And then if I need to lock something down, and you know what this is for, this is a, like a little case that you could put pistols in or something like that. If I got to lock it into my truck for some reason, I can lock it in there. Air plug and some cordage. Anyways, I'm going to shut this, put this back, and I'll come back in a second. All right, just to be complete with this truck. Uh, I don't normally carry anything in my door. Um, I do have one knife in my door. I kind of like this knife, too. Um, it's a nice carry knife if you are into these kinds of things. But anyway, this blade, it's a beautiful blade. 
but this is an obaki knife so i do i do like that it's a nice one I, it's not the one i normally carry but that's a spare one it just sits in my door normally i fill this up with sodas i probably drink way too many of those but uh anyway another first aid kit this is more of a, a stop to bleed kit again um, this is kind of up in front. I had one that's in the back. So there's a number of these laying around the truck in case I need them. Don't have much up here. I have eye protection. So eye pro if I need it. Right now there's a bunch of cords and just miscellaneous. I, I try to keep this place clean because it drives me crazy when shit's rattling. So I, I don't usually put a lot of stuff in there. In here, I do have some things in here through maybe this quick so Fords have this little tray pull this tray out so cat tea tourniquet and it's in the bag the ones that are here are not in the bag and the one in the back that's not in the bag either um, so but this one is in the bag I just try to keep that one kind of clean I got two headlamps so if I need headlamps for some reason there's that one and then here's another one this one has red anyway so headlamps more, more ways to more ways to start fire if I need to and this is my, my wife founded a farm sanctuary and they train pigs so this is a, a trainer so I use this on my kids sometimes it doesn't work though so don't run out and buy one there's that these are a bunch of doggy doo-doo bags it's kind of nice to have some bags if you need them for something um, tire pressure gauge some GoPro mounts miscellaneous cables so there's not much in here um, some tweezers looks like I have so anyways there's there that stuff is there so I'll pile this stuff back in oh and I got aspirin most important thing sometimes you just don't know when either you your wife your kids are gonna get a headache and it's always nice to be able to just quickly help them out. So inside here, there's a lot of things I just don't normally get to, that I don't normally use. Um, when we go through drive throughs I collect all of the, the miscellaneous uh, unused napkins and I just dump them in here so we have some spares. Um, this is kind of a face mask or a neck guard or something like that for if I'm out in the sun, I need that. Another pair of gloves and a hat. Some Lysol wipes. So these, I have to check these every once in a while. They do dry out. Um, this this bag, I can feel, feel it's pretty moist. In fact, I don't even think this one's been opened yet, so it's an unopened bag. Some spare Ziploc bags. These are nice. If you need them and keep something dry, you can do that. Something to wipe down. I use this for wiping down my, my inside of my, my window, but also you know, wipe down your glasses if that's soft stuff. This is a monocular. I love this monocular. This is a Vortex. So, get this out for a second. Anyway, I won't get it all the way out, but you can see. It's a kind of a quick monocular. So if you're hiking someplace and there's some nice stuff you want to see that's maybe a little farther away, that's always around. I can bring that with me. Uh, I don't know. Oh. So, all my old sunglasses. You know, it never fails. I go someplace and my kids forget their sunglasses and we always used to end up buying new stuff but now if they forget stuff well we got a bunch of spares they can use these spares again winter up here is can be an issue so kids get cold you know i get cold or whatever i found a, a deal on this is like a 10 or it's a big pack 10 pair of hand warmers so you can put those in your pockets to keep yourself warm masks you never know when you're gonna need them my kids used to go to a bouncy huts all the time and they make a lot of money on making you buy their socks so i got smart i just collected all the socks and anytime we go to one of those places with the trampoline parks and stuff like that that require those special socks well i have the special socks so i just have them with me all the time another spare roll of toilet paper uh, what else? Oh, got my annual park pass for the trip that's coming up here soon. So I use that for a lot of the things. Just some stickers, it looks like Velcro. I don't know. 
stress ball. Now this is a clown nose, so you never, never know when you're gonna be part of a clown show. So I can dress appropriately for clown shows. This is probably the thing I use the most out of here is this thing. This is a Hulkman jump starter. So this is a bigger one for starting trucks and everything. Usually I have never used this on my truck, but my wife's battery goes down often. Um, Cause she leaves the lights on or she's listening to music or something while it's running. So that's an awesome thing. So I have that plugged in here. So every time my truck starts up, it's always keeping this thing charged. So that's always charged up, ready to go. And so that just sits in here. And here's the, you know, the clamps that go with it. So I have that. And it looks like down at the bottom, I have uh, some spare batteries. This is a thing full of spare coins, I believe. So it's got a bunch of spare coins. So sometimes we go to neighboring states that require tolls. I won't mention which one, but anyways, a bunch of clamps. So I should probably move those clamps in the back, I think. I think I will. So that's a tour of the inside of, of this thing. I'm going to put everything back and then we'll meet up here. Uh, I don't think there's much on this side, but my water, usually that just sits over there with me on that side. It's over here. I don't carry anything in my glove box. So I just, again, the rattles drive me crazy. So I do have my owner's permit. I got some registration cards and insurance, proof of insurance, things like that. Um, anyway, some, the original lock nuts and stuff like that for the, the wheels. Maybe I got one of those little special wrenches or something. Anyway. So that, that's up in here. But again, this stuff so far doesn't rattle, doesn't drive me crazy, but sometimes things like that drive me crazy. So I don't, I don't really put a lot in there. Plus I can't really reach it when I'm driving. So I hope you enjoyed the truck tour. Again, I'm, I don't consider myself a super prepper, um, but at some point I was a Boy Scout and you know the Boy Scout model still kind of is woven in the fabric that built me you know i'm be prepared again I, I'm, I'm not being prepared against some nuclear fallout or something like that but just kind of you know things that you might run into common like on a daily occurrence you know like a flat tire or you know not maybe even yourself that has a flat tire maybe it's your wife has a, a dead battery and you're going to go help her out or you know just being able to pull over at any moment and do some little tiny repairs. You know, bolt came off the camper, I can see it's flapping back there, so I need to fix that. You know, those kinds of things, just being capable and being prepared and put yourself in, in a, the best possible place that you can be. And of course, most of the time, you know, we can always call, call for help. But again, maybe sometimes there's no cell phone service and calling isn't really an option. So you have to kind of be there for yourself. Anyways, that's it for this video.